This is Democracy Now! I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. We're going out of Phoenix, Arizona, where an African-American family is suing the city after police held them at gunpoint because their four-year-old daughter had allegedly taken a doll from a family a dollar store. Shocking video shows officers pointing guns and yelling at the family outside the store. One officer even threatened to shoot the girl's father in the face. Yeah, I'm recording it. Put your hands up. I don't give a Put your hands up. Well, the four-year-old girl's mother, Aisha Harper, is her saying she's unable to hold her hands up because she's holding a child and that she is pregnant. On Monday, Aisha Harper and her fiancé, Drayvon Ames, spoke about what happened. I was very much so in fear for my family's life and my life. I thought we were all going to be executed and by the luck of God or grace. by grace, if someone was there to video this, you know what I mean? Even if we were going to be executed that day, someone would have had it on film. And honestly, I don't think that it would have helped or anything. Yeah, it's very traumatizing, you know, because, like, with all of this going on, I still have to see the video, you know. It's very sad, you know. It shouldn't have happened over a baby doll or wherever the case might be they want to say. Like, it still doesn't justify the action. Phoenix's mayor and police chief have both apologized for what happened and criticized how the police officers handled the situation. Activists in Phoenix say this is just the latest incident in a police department plagued by issues of police violence and killings. Last year, the city had 44 police shootings, nearly double that of the previous year, led the nation in police shootings among cities of its size. Well, for more, we are joined by the family, Drayvon Ames and Aisha Harper, along with their family spokesperson, Reverend Jarrett Maupin, of the National Action Network. On Monday, the couple filed a $10 million lawsuit against the city. We welcome you both to Democracy Now! This is just an astounding story. Aisha, if we could start with you. Um, talk about when this happened. The video just came out for the public to see. But when this happened, and the police officers surrounding you all, explain what they told you to do. You have a four-year-old who they say took a doll from the dollar store, and your one-year-old. You were holding your one-year-old in the car? Yeah, well, she was in her car seat. And as I'm getting her out of her car seat, that's when the officer runs to the driver's side door and was, like, being very aggressive. And at that moment, I didn't know what was going on. I already had her in my hands, and he's screaming and yelling. My other daughter jumps on me like she didn't know what was going on. So it all started like that before everything else escalated. And they're telling you to put your hands up when you're holding your child, and you're telling them, I don't know if everyone could hear it in the video, you're overdoing this. You're overdoing this. Yes, because I just thought that, like, I didn't know what were they doing and if we was the right people. And, and Drayvon, when they approached Aisha, where were you uh, uh, specifically, and, and what was their interaction with you? Um, I was in the driver's seat, and his interaction with me was he first came to my door. He opened the door, no problem. Um, he's telling me to put my hands up. I do that instantly because he has the gun drawn. I, we don't know who he is. I'm just taking commands from anyone, unidentified person at this point. I don't know if I'm being mugged, robbed, or anything. I'm just hands up. I'm not trying to die with my family, so. Yeah, and in the video, at one point, uh, uh, an officer seen kicking your legs out from under you. Could you talk about uh, uh, what happened subsequently? Yeah, so um, he yanks me out the car while I have a gun drawn on me in front of me, and then he throws me to the ground, cuff me, no resistance, I'm fully compliant. Um, then he hits my head against the car door, then he throws me against the car, and then he says, spread your legs. And in the video, you see me open my legs or spread them, and then he just kicks me and blows my leg out. So I'm, I'm at that point. I'm just I'm still complying, like I'm complying with you, sir. Even though he does that, I'm just like, okay, he he wants to get a, he trying to provoke me to do something so he can justify this all, and I'm just showing him that I can at least just hold my composure a little bit more, just show that he's fully wrong.
And Aisha, what happened to your children, your four-year-old and your one-year-old? You were holding the one-year-old. What did you do with her? I had to give her to a complete stranger, because the officer was being so aggressive and loud and yelling, and he, like, tried to grab her out of my, my arms, which I, I did not want to give her to that aggressive officer. So I gave her to a complete stranger. And then a stranger there, who I came just up. We see, what was going on. we see the bystander footage, and one of the people who's behind the uh, filming uh, is saying, "I'll take the child. I'll take the child." Um, so you handed her to a stranger. How is your four-year-old processing this? I mean, she like all she kept doing was like trying to watch me, and she didn't know what was going on, and like she had no clue, like. Like, it's all about her taking that Barbie doll. Like, she was just so shocked and shook. And, and Reverend uh, Jared Mopin, you're uh, put this in a broader context uh, with the Phoenix Police Department, what the African American Latino communities there have experienced at the hands of the police department, uh, and what this case uh, uh, signifies for you. Well, extreme violations. And, uh, and, and a complete disregard for their inherent worth and dignity as human beings. Uh, you know, 44 shootings and killings last year, uh, 15 more this year, more than uh, 60 uh, substantiated complaints of, uh, of brutality and excessive force. Uh, but nothing as shocking as what we saw in this videotape with this, with, with this family. Uh, that was uh, a complete— uh, failure to to respect any any of their any of their rights. Um, you know, if you if you listen to the beginning of the the tape when the officers approach the car with guns drawn, they tell uh, Drayvon to uh, you know one says put your hands up, the other one says open the door. Well, you know that's a perfect combination for an execution. These officers were uh, intent on on violating uh, this family. Uh, Myers, uh, the officer who was sort of the um, the lead thug in this. Um, has a terrible track record. In fact, uh, at the rally last night, a young man came forward to say uh, that, that he had a videotape and shared it of Officer Meyer uh, abusing, abusing him. So you have police with, with records of abuse that continue to be employed by the department. Phoenix has the highest number of police uh, on the Brady list uh, than any other city, uh, five times uh, more police violence against people of color in Phoenix and than cities of comparable size. It's the fifth largest city in America, larger than Philadelphia. Uh, it's, uh, it's systemic and, and institutional, the violence, the racism. Uh, the police department is 73 percent white. Um, no diversity training, no sensitivity training, no body cameras, um, no hope. We must have something change. Uh, and, and it takes uh, uh, advocacy and litigation, uh, but uh, intervention. You know, uh, if we had been under uh, President Obama and Attorney General Holder, uh, this police department would be in receivership of the Department of Justice. Mm. On Saturday, Phoenix Mayor Kate Gallego issued a statement saying, I, like many others, am sick over what I've seen in the video depicting Phoenix police interacting with family and young children it was completely inappropriate, clearly unprofessional. There's no situation in which this behavior is ever close to acceptable. As a mother myself, seeing these children placed in such a terrifying situation is beyond upsetting. I'm deeply sorry for what this family went through, and I apologize to our community. This is not who we are. I refuse to allow this type of behavior to go unchallenged. Um, so, Reverend, what's happened to the police officers? Have, are they all off duty? Are they have they all been taken um, off the streets? They they have not been fired. They've been suspended with pay, which is an insult uh, to the family. Uh, the mayor, her apology is lacking all substance, um, and has been rejected by not only this family but the the entire community, and especially the civil rights community. Um, she lied to the national media. She said by August uh, there, that all precincts in the city would have body cameras. That's very misleading. There's a difference between all precincts having a handful of cameras and all patrol officers having a body camera uh, that they're required to, to use. Uh, who, who cares if a precinct has 15 cameras uh, and 60 officers? Um, there were 10 officers that uh, responded, including a lieutenant, not one 
had uh, a body camera, even though they came from a precinct that was a, 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 a test uh, precinct for body cameras uh, in this city. We have a police union that exercises tremendous control uh, over the city council. Uh, it's, uh, it's easier to fire the police chief or the city manager than it is to fire a rank-and-file officer. Something is wrong. Policies, procedures, employment contracts, that's what the city needs to uh, look at. But the mayor and the chief uh, have seen fit to come to our community again and ask us for, um, ask us for answers. You know, we're, we are, uh, after 44 shootings, uh, 15 more just this year, uh, umpteen rallies, marches, lawsuits. They know what we want. The mayor represented South Phoenix, uh, District 8, for six years before she was elected mayor. That's the highest concentration of black residents in the city. Um, she was estranged to us then, but she knows what we're demanding. So this is um, the politics of, of, uh, of placation and, and, and smoke and mirrors, uh, the, the finest we're seeing played on on, uh, on on poor urban residents anywhere in the country, and it's a it's a shame, you know. The the police is uh, the chief. She's a black woman. She said the other day that she gets um, how people feel. I, I, I would hope so, uh, but that doesn't mean she's doing anything about it. Sometimes a black chief can be the best window dressing and prevention of uh, bringing in. Uh, needed reforms. The proof we, is in the dead bodies and the broken bodies. We want to get into more details, but we'll have to do that in part two and post online at democracynow.org. Drayvon Ames and Aisha Harper, we want to thank you for being with us, suing the city of Phoenix, Arizona, for $10 million after being stopped and held at gunpoint by police because their four-year-old daughter allegedly took a doll from a family dollar store. And Reverend Jarrett Malpin, thanks so much for being with us, family spokesperson. That does it for our broadcast. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. Thanks so much for joining us.